High in the Hindu Kush mountains near the Afghan border, these trees are slowly changing lives. In Bajor district alone, there are millions of wild olive trees. And with some old signs and new interests, they're being grafted or joined with modern varieties. These mostly European type of olives produce more quantity and better quality olive oil. In three to five years, the new variant of wild trees becomes a source of revenue for local tribesmen who've had very few prospects in these remote areas of Pakistan. Bajor is one of the poorest districts and many people migrate to larger cities to look for jobs. The rugged terrain is unforgiving for most crops, but Israr has been able to successfully graft 10,000 wild trees in just over 10 years. He's written books to educate farmers and also established a small nursery to help others around him improve their livelihoods. Many of the people who went towards militancy did so because there are no jobs, no opportunities here. We are blessed with God-given resources, and if the government takes serious steps, we can have enough work here that people from other countries would come to us. Economists believe locally produced oil can bring financial relief to the country, as Pakistanis consume an estimated 24 kilograms of oil every year. Olives are not just providing opportunities, but are also meant to bring down the import bill of a cash-strapped economy and enable plantation in areas where there is very little water. Government nurseries give out saplings and seeds to promote olive farming. But critics say these initiatives lack awareness, have insufficient facilities and mostly rely on imported seeds. The Wild Olive Tree Project offers more. Our main focus for the olive plantations is the marginalized lands, especially the tribal areas like Bajawar, North and South Waziristan. These were militancy hit areas where people were jobless and faced extreme poverty. But now this olive initiative will bring prosperity to their lives. The minister says homegrown olive cultivation and production will save $3 billion a year on imports. It could also help repay some of the $100 million debt between Pakistan and Italy. In recent years, 9 million trees have been planted. Pakistan has 8 million acres available for olive trees. That's larger than Spain, the largest producer of olive oil. Government officials, environmentalists and farmers agree on the positive impact growing olives can have on the economy, deforestation and jobs. Yet, Pakistan still spends billions of dollars a year to import commodities, which can potentially be produced at home. Osama bin Javed al-Nazira, Bajor. Northwest Pakistan.